Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, Home Assistant decided to change the configuration menu, which means that menu items got a new location. And that means that a lot of tutorials on the internet are not completely valid anymore. I'm going to show you in this video what the new locations are, so you can still use those older tutorials. Hey, so Home Assistant decided to change their configuration menu and call it settings menu now. That means that some of the configuration menu items are now on a different spot in the settings menu. It also means that if you want to follow tutorials on the internet and they were made before this change, that they are not completely valid anymore. And that might be a problem. So that's why I decided to create this video that shows you the differences between the old configuration menu and the new settings menu. And at the end of the video, I also added a free giveaway that will make you able to still follow those old tutorials on the internet. So make sure you watch this video till the end. First, let me start with an overview. The old configuration menu and the new settings menu look a lot alike, but they're not. I'm going to show you what changed and where you can find the menu items in the new settings menu. So Home Assistant Cloud is still the same in the new menu and Devices and Services is also still the same, but some things changed there. Automations and Scenes also seems to be the same, but it's not. And Blueprints moved to Automations and Scenes. Add-ons, Backups and Supervisor can now be found in Add-ons and in System. Dashboards can be found in Dashboards and Tags in Tags. People and Zones is now in Areas and Zones and People. And then we have Settings, and Settings can be found in System, which is a whole new submenu. So let's go over them one by one. Home Assistant Cloud is still the same, so if you use that, you know where to find it. Devices and Services changed a little bit. In the old menu, you had also Areas in Devices and Services which is a little bit strange. And in the new menu, it is replaced by helpers, which is, in my opinion, quite logical to place it there. So areas was in devices and services in the old menu. In the new menu, we have a new option called areas and zones, and that's where you find areas now. Automations and scenes also changed a bit. In the old menu, helpers were part of automations and scenes, but they're not anymore. Now we have blueprints in automations and scenes, which is also a logical place to put it there. Then helpers moved from the old menu from automations and scenes to the new menu to devices and services. So if you need helpers, you go to devices and services and you find your helpers there. The blueprints had a separate entry in the old menu. In the new menu, they are now part of automations and scenes. And the add-ons in the old menu were part of add-ons, backups and supervisor. That whole menu, add-ons, backups and supervisor is now gone. You can find the add-ons now in the add-ons menu item. Backups were also part of the add-ons, backups and supervisor in the old menu. In the new menu, you have to go to system and within system you go to backups and there you will find your backups. Storage was also part of add-ons, backups and supervisor. In the new menu, you go to system and then you go to storage to find your storage information. And hardware was also part of add-ons, backups and supervisor. In the new menu, it is part of system and then hardware. And then you click on the three dots in the right upper corner and then you can view all your hardware. Dashboards is still the same in the old menu and the new menu. In the old menu, you see dashboards and resources next to each other. In the new menu, you see dashboards as the main page. And the resources can be found by clicking on the three dots in the right upper corner and then click on resources. So that's where you find the resources, which was part of dashboards in the old menu. Then tags is the same in the old and the new menu. And people also changed a bit. In the old menu, you had people, zones and users. And in the new menu, you have people and users, so the zones are gone there. The zones might be gone, but users is still a part of people in the new menu. And zones moved from people and zones to a new menu item, which is called areas and zones. Then system. 
System was a big part of add-ons, backups and supervisor. That menu does not exist anymore. But now in the settings menu there is a system menu item and if you go to that system menu you will see all the system menu items in there. So for instance the general configuration entries were in settings and they are now in system and general. And the updates were part of the main configuration menu. You had to click on the three dots and check for updates to see if there were updates and also the updates interface was also there. In the new menu there is a separate entry for updates so you go to system and then to updates. And in the right upper corner you can also see the skipped updates and you can join or leave the beta channel there. The server controls are a big thing in Home Assistant because that is the location where you can reboot your Home Assistant. In the old menu it was part of settings, but in the new menu it's not part of the whole configuration menu anymore. Instead of that it's become part of the developer tools. And within developer tools we now have an option YAML configuration. And within YAML configuration you can validate your configuration, you can restart Home Assistant and you can reload your YAML configuration files. There's also a restart Home Assistant shortcut button now. If you go to your settings menu and then to your system menu, then you will see on the right upper corner a link to restart your home assistant immediately. The logs were also part of settings, but now you can find them by clicking on system, then clicking on logs, and then you can select a specific log that you want to view. Info could also be found in settings and then going to info in the old menu. In the new menu, you simply go to about and then you see the same information as you saw before. The Home Assistant URL was also part of Settings and then General. In the new menu you go to System and then you go to Network and there you find your Home Assistant URL. But there's more information in Network. For instance, the Network Adapter is also there. So go to System Network to view all your network settings. To toggle the analytics settings, in the old menu you had to go to Settings, then to General, scroll all the way down and there you could toggle all the options. In the new menu you simply go to system and then analytics and there you can toggle all the options. So this was my comparison between the old configuration menu and the new settings menu in Home Assistant. And as a free giveaway I created a PDF of these slides and I put them on my GitHub page where you can download them for free. So if you are following all the tutorials you can use these slides to find the new locations of the menu items. I hope this video helped you, if so, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tick the notification bell and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!